So for the last 10 years, we've been trying to demonstrate that not just tumors, but actually most human diseases are essentially addicted to some very specific activities of, of genes that are not mutated themselves, but are downstream from genes that are mutated. But we had never been able to show that, in fact, these, these modules that we detect act a little bit like a funnel and they coalesce all the upstream mutations. And so this paper here, I think, is a, really the coronation of that effort because it shows that not just in cancer, but in diseases as diverse as Alzheimer's and uh, different types of cancer, you actually have these regulatory bottlenecks. Think of it as a funnel inside the machinery of the cell that essentially integrate all these strange signals that come from the microenvironment, from mutation, from epigenetic alterations, and they, cha and they channel them, they canalize them into the aberrant activity of these proteins, which you call master regulators. So, very simple, very simple analogy. So, if you have a container, it's supposed to hold water. But if, as you can see, you carve a lot of holes in a container, then it won't hold water anymore. And so, if you pour water in the container, it will come down from the holes and make a mess. Right? So, container is like a cell, and the holes are the equivalent of mutations. And so, normal cell is supposed to work and uh, perform its function. And what happens instead is that if you start having mutations, as you can see, you have all these different uh, bad phenotypes and water is coming down. Now, if I, if I try to use normal conventional chemotherapy or targeted therapy, in fact, what happens is that I'm trying to close some of these, some of these holes one at a time with drugs. And you can see I'm not doing a very good job. This water is still coming down. But if you can demonstrate that there are some bottlenecks in the tumors that occur, then what happens is that not only you can basically capture essentially all of them, but you can do something very important, which is now if I plug that single hole there, it will no, it will, the, the water will no longer go through, and then I'm capturing essentially all of the mutation at once. Okay? Once you find uh, the full repertoire of, of mutations, which can be very complicated, you can now use them, for instance, as biomarkers in, in disease. You can say, oh, if I have, for instance, a mutation in KILHL9, like we found in this glioma, then I know that this patient is going to be very aggressive, expressing mesenchymal phenotype, and once we'll have the drug to treat that particular subtype, we'll know which drugs to use for that subtype. So this essentially, if you want, it's just a tremendous simplification of the patterns of genetics that are necessary to diagnose and eventually treat a, a tumor patient.